What's up, Cereal Heads? Today we're going to talk about Corn Pops. Corn Pops were introduced by Kellogg's in 1951. The cereal is sweetened pop pieces of milled corn. And when it was introduced, it was called Sugar Corn Pops, or sometimes Sugar Pops, or sometimes Corn Pops. They flip-flopped a lot. And this particular cereal had a handful of mascots over the year. Let's try and follow them. It was first marketed during the Wild Bill Hickok TV show, and they used the actors Guy Madison and Andy Devine to promote the cereal. Have some corn pops, guys? Well, I sure will. Thank you. Folks, every day is a party day with Kellogg's Corn Pops. How about you? Have you tried them yet? And around the same time, they were also using Woody the Woodpecker to promote the cereal. Poor Woody, having breakfast on the train is great. And it's greater when breakfast is Kellogg's Sugar Pops. Around 1958, I believe Wild Bill Hickok TV show was canceled, and they had to find a new mascot to promote Corn Pops. Enter Sugar Pops Pete. A prairie dog dressed as a cowboy with two six shooters with red and white stripes. Look, it's Sugar Pops Pete. With my sugar popper, I can rustle up enough Kellogg Sugar Pops for everyone. And they're in snack pack too. In 1968, Pete was retired and replaced with Whippersnapper, a real live cowboy who would snap his whip on the front of the box. Around the late 70s, they introduced the animated cowboy called Big Yella. In the ads, Big Yella would try to trade his Big Yella things for Corn Pops. Howdy, I'm Big Yellow and I'm so wild about Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops, I'll trade my Big Yellow Bird for a bowl of those Big Yellow Pops. No! Then from about 1980 to 1983, they had Poppy the Porcupine on boxes of Corn Pops. Poppy would carry around a pop and suitcase, which would open into a breakfast spread, which included a bowl of Corn Pops. And with a popping suitcase! I'm Poppy, and those are my Sugar Corn Pops. They're just popping with crunchy sweet taste. You can try them. Well, if it doesn't take too long. This box with Poppy on the front isn't opened yet, and there's a free 3D baseball card inside. Let's have a look. So there's my 3D baseball card. John Scott Morris of the Detroit Tigers. Now by the late 80s, the US version didn't have any mascots, but they did have the Rootin' Tootin' on boxes of Corn Pops in Canada. But I love the US ad campaign for Corn Pops around this time. Here's an ad with Brian Austin Green pre-90210. You want something else? Nah. I want my corn pops. That's what I want. Like sweet popcorn. You always want more. And you two sleazoids why I invited to my house to spend the night and share my corn pops up nothing for me. <gasps> hey, Baker, there's plenty more. I was just pulling your chain. You think you fooled me? I gotta have my pops. Also from the 90s, they had one of my favorite varieties of corn pops. Three-point pops. I love this short-lived version because it was basketball-themed. Oh, right. almost forgot. The cereal. So here's a bowl of Kellogg's Corn Pops. Bright, yellow, and delicious. This is a cereal that I actually enjoy better eating dry. 60 plus years later and Corn Pops is still going strong. You can't miss this bright yellow box on grocery shelves. That's it. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay crunchy. Gotta have my pops. Cereal time. Cereal